when we take and run this through a boring bar and it creates a really sharp edge across all those ports in there, what we're creating is a little instead of it being a 90 degree edge, we're taking and building a soft lead in so that the piston ring can come in and out of that area with the least amount of effort. So I want you to think about that. Here's inside the cylinder where the piston is going up and down. And what's holding these rings tight against the piston, the cylinder wall that it's in between. So when we get out here, you can see as it goes across these ports, there's nothing holding tension on the piston ring so it's allowed to flex just slightly. It loses some of the pressure there. As I come across here, if I have that sharp edge, I'm gonna basically that ring has to hit that as it comes across here and we want to take away that sharp edge. So anywhere that's inside that cylinder, uh, transfer ports, exhaust port, anywhere up and down that cylinder we want to take the bottom and the top edges and relieve them. You say I drew a hole around this side, okay? as that ring comes across here, it never leaves this edge, okay? It only leaves and pops into the hole, uh, once again, on the bottom and on the top. Got this blue point uh, little grinder here. Got a little adjustment here. What I recommend, and what we're gonna do today, is we're going to focus in here. <laughs> Since the tool is rotating this this direction, if I go here, as soon as I touch this, it wants to whip across here. So what I want to do is I want to go opposite that. When I touch here, then I'm going to actually have controlled grinding to go up and go across the port. This is uh, the Park Tool suspension vise. This is meant for holding forks or whatnot, but it turns out to be a pretty cool clamp on here. Is now I could take this and I could go ahead and be flipping it around, go down and catch my other sides here. Some people say, well, should I do them all? You really only have to do the tops and bottom. After a cylinder's bored, it's a good idea to do this bottom edge too because sometimes you can lose that lead in when you go to a bigger bore. What I like to do is just come in here and create myself a lead in if necessary if I've lost this on the boring but we are trying to duplicate this angle up inside those ports that's a great picture of it there that you couldn't see before I hope you found this video useful if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet would you please do so also hit that notification button so you'll know about all our future videos as I always say keep wrenching and make it a great day